Hi everyone, Amanda here. How are we all? So this is the second part of my video. I filmed the other part, it wasn't a lot last last um, time I was at the boot, which was yesterday. It was raining, so I think I've got maybe about 12 minutes, you'll have seen this by now anyway, about 12 minutes of footage. But anyway, you know when you just go to a boot sale and things just happen for you, it was like, wow, it's amazing like yesterday. <laughs> because I did take some money with me, but it was raining. So everyone was packing up and they just wanted to get rid of their stuff. A lot of the, you know, house clearance guys, they just wanted to get rid of their stuff. They weren't interested, you know, they just wanted to you know, <laughs> get rid of it because it was all wet and wet anyway. So I got some good, really good stuff. I did pay for some badges and I paid a couple of pounds for an hour, which I'll show you in a minute. But yeah, all in all, I only paid £12 yesterday. That was it. So I didn't pay my £50. And it was just amazing. You know, when you just go to somewhere just one day and it just all falls into place. So I have put on a reel in my Instagram this guy, I was just walking past this store, so I was just literally going to go home. And there was this guy there, and he was packing up. And I just started looking at this thing, I thought, oh, that's interesting. It was beaded and stuff. I thought, oh, I quite like beads. Anyway, then I clocked it was vintage, and it was a vintage curtain. And it was a door curtain, but it was beaded, it was gorgeous. And I thought, oh, but it's so tangled. Anyway, so I started picking it up, and the guy said to me, look, if you can untangle that, he said, it's not going to be worth anything to me, he said, because I haven't got time to untangle anything like that. He said, you can have it for free. So I said, are you sure? And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he said, honestly, he said, it's, I'm just going to tip it otherwise. He said, yeah, well, it won't be here next week type of thing. I was like, okay, thanks very much. So picked it up, thought, you know, give it a go. Why not? You know, and yeah, three and a half hours it took me to untangle it. And I will show you at the end what it looks like now um, on the reel. I actually had it on wires because I had to literally, I mean, it was a labour of love. So what I did was I untangled it one by one. Yes, one by one. But they were all tangled to all different, all the different colours. So I had to keep like pulling it really, really gently. I didn't want to break it because obviously, you know, vintage and everything. So painstakingly, I did it. Um, and I'm so happy with the result. Um... I've always been offered quite a lot of money for it already. There's a friend of a friend that I know who has a hotel in Brighton, like a 60s sort of revival of a hotel. And um, he's wanted to buy it off me um, for over £100. So, yeah, I don't even put it on eBay. <laughs> but it was just such a find. I swear, I've never seen one in the wild ever before. Um, I don't think I'll probably see one ever again. It was just one of those, you know, you're just there at the time, you know, and you just literally know what it is. I just knew what it was. Um, I actually, um, I've got to show it to my mum because I'm sure my mum had one as well in the 60s. Um, it's either 60s or early 70s. I mean, if it's 70s, well, I might do it for my challenge, actually, which is a good thing. Because not everyone will see this. But yeah, what a find. So, as I was going round, people were just like picking things up, saying, just have it, just have it, just have it. So, most of it's free <laughs> that I'm going to show you today. But the other thing I'm going to do, I'll show you, is I'm going to put these on eBay. Now, I've had these for a while, but I never actually got used to them, really. I don't know why. I just didn't really wear them. They're going to need to go in the wash, because I think when I had them on, I had a bit of fake tan on. Um... I think I wore them for Pride last year, actually, but they're Converse and they are really nice. Um, they're a size eight. And I do have to actually just put them in the wash a bit because there was a bit of fake tan wearing on my feet at the time. But they're definitely Converse, you can see there. So they'll go on eBay, definitely. So I'm gonna pop those on eBay. I've only worn them once, as you can see. So yeah, so they look good. And then I picked up at the boot yesterday. I don't even know where to start. I might leave that till the end. So, not a lot of 
our pickups really, but I paid for these badges, five or four or more. Now they are, I think they are all 70s, 80s ones. You've got here, um, 1987 The Walt Disney Company, Mickey Mouse, High at Marks and Spencers. Um, this one just says read any good books lately I don't know who that is I don't know who that is I need to check the actual I should google lens a lot of these oh look this is one for uh, Lindsay and Alvin <laughs> keep Britain tidy Lindsay and Alvin keep Britain tidy don't they so yeah so that's a keep Britain tidy one Who remembers Unigate Dairies? I'm bringing out the best. Sorry, these are, I know these are all a different way. That's why I'm reading them to you. I've met Ronald McDonald. So again, that's quite an old one. Um, probably 70s, 80s, I'm guessing. Then this one says, bring back boomerangs. <laughs> This one said, talk to a deaf child. So yeah, so there are some like quite poignant ones in here. Yeah? Well, this one is ITV's Telethon 90. Do you remember the telethons you used to get at ITV? Yeah, look, see that one there? It's a telethon. <laughs> what else we got? Oh. Keep in touch with Sussex Express and Country Herald. I don't even know if that exists anymore, actually. I have to check that one out. Oh, then we've got good old Nesquik. <laughs> um, oh, yes. Today I am one. So that's obviously one of those older badges that obviously came in the cards. Remember they used to be on the card, didn't they, the badges? They don't do them anymore because health and safety reasons, but uh, yeah. La Bar Pains, the Chocolate Obsession. So again, I don't know. I've never heard of that one. Need to check out that one. Again, another one. Make friends with a deaf child. That's another little bar one. I'm going to put the pins on these because they're getting stabbed already. Oh, this is the Salvation Army. Oh, 1879 to 1979. And that is a Scottish one. So this is the Scottish Salvation Army there. This one, no idea. Some sort of club for children, I think. WA club, it says. No idea what that is. This one says, you old time a train. <laughs> oh, yeah. These are 70s badges, honestly. I've taken the Pepsi challenge. Remember the Pepsi challenge? I've taken the Pepsi challenge. I've got soul. <laughs> That's quite a good one, isn't it? I'm with the Woolwich, the one to be with. Obviously, Woolwich isn't obviously about anymore. Again, this one is the Salvation Army. It's got a picture of a man on it, of a Salvation Army man. Then we've got Dennis the Menace. Who remembers Dennis the Menace out of Vino? So it says NCH birthday, 89 to 1989. Menace is forever. <laughs> there are collectors out here for badges and stuff. Guess why I'm smiling? Guess why I'm smiling? 
I'm smiling because I've got the most amazing thing behind me to show you. Oh yeah, Sony video tape. Gosh, that's an old one. Sony tape, video tape. Then we've got another one here that says hearing for dogs. Support, I support hearing dogs for the deaf. So this person that part of these badge collections probably maybe had a hearing issue, probably, maybe. Oh look, UK guiding. Remember the guides? Well they're still on now, aren't they, guides? But I only go into guides. My guide uniform I think is slightly different than it is nowadays. This says Selfridges. Nursery rhymes for the Christmas. Well, that's an interesting one. Selfridges. Hmm. Interesting. Then we've got the other Labar one. Hmm. General Portfolio Road Race. No idea what that is. Save with the NSB, National Savings Bank with the B. Do you remember that one? I remember that one, the B one. <laughs> and we've got the good old British one, good old Union Jack one. Gosh, going into the good old Union Jack. And a couple more left. We've got guide dogs. I've taken this might have been through. Someone had a hearing issue. That one is Thomas Tank. Thomas Tank. I mean, that's an old that little one, isn't it? And I support the children's society. Pedal power. I presume it might be on a bike. Then we've got um, Pets Challenge again. So we've got two of those ones. And then Spring Hill Wildfowl. Forest Road Sussex. So clearly these came from Sussex somewhere. And then we have a club membership for days gone by with Lido 1986 to 1987. And obviously they are I keep dropping these badges. That one is obviously for like um, cars and things, Lido. So yeah, I thought that was usually quite good. Fiber. And they're all vintage ones. So yeah. I spent five on those, which was like it was a good buy. That was. Um, I spent two pounds on this. Now, this was filthy, and when I say filthy, it was filthy. So I took a picture of it. I was going to put it up on Instagram. Actually, I still might a before and after because I had to clean it up. In fact, I've just literally seen a bit of dust I've missed, believe it or not, on the back there. So you can see it. But this is The Simpsons. So it's quite, obviously, it's in the sun, you can tell. But I was quite, just, I just love it when I find vintage things and I know that it's missing its thing on it but you can always put like a um, bit of masking tape or something to keep the batteries in but yeah I'm really really gonna get some batteries I need the bigger ones though these are the, I think are these the C or the D ones um, and check it out because a lot of the time these things still work I got one from Wallace and Gromit one and uh, yeah it actually still worked and this one has got like um, a DC in it, a six volt thing as well. And I get back to see that just there. So yeah. So obviously it's got Bart sitting on Homer, and it's got Marge in the background, just like obviously cartoon kind of look. And then it's got those on the television, the little mouse on the television. He's got his beer, his pork rings, his dog. The dogs there um, but yeah it's quite intricate and this bit here 
this bit here is the radio, believe it or not. The lamp is an actual radio. If you can, you can see that on there, it's like a radio bit. So yeah, so I just thought it was really good and it probably still needs a bit of a clean. But I'm looking forward to seeing if it does work because I do love vintage stuff, as you know. So yeah, I was quite happy with that. So that was two pounds. That was seven pound. I thought well, it was worth two pound just to, I knew it was good. I knew I'd have to clean it up obviously. Um and the batteries are actually in here. But I don't think they'll work anymore. <laughs> I have to get new batteries. Then I came across this. Now it needs a bit of a clean up. I don't know which one it is, but I just saw him and thought, wow, he looks really cool. What do you think? He's an owl. He's actually dressed with waders on. I don't know who he is. I'd have to take all of it off his actual thing to find out. Um, he's got a badge on that I don't know whether that belongs to him or not. Sometimes you never know, do you? You've got to check these things. There's a badge there. It's got like a pixie on it or something. I don't know. That might have been added. But yeah, he's got his little sort of cravat on. He's still got his little beak and stuff. But he's got beautiful, I just love his eyes with the feathers. And he's, yeah, he's really, really nice. He's obviously been in some attic somewhere because he looks pretty yeah he needs a wash he, well, he doesn't need a wash he needs a he needs a brush down there's a few cobwebs i can see still here on here <laughs> that's what you get when you get out of house clearances but he's worth doing up um yeah there's definitely some cobwebs here so i need to do it up um, but i like the fact that he's got a fish as well look how cool that is a fish He's holding the fish in his hand and it's still there. So I think that's cool. So he's been fishing, obviously, and grabbed the fish. But yeah, but he looks very countryfied, doesn't he, with his green jacket on and his wellies and his little corduroys. So yeah, I thought he was rather, rather nice. So I paid £5 for him and uh, yeah, I think uh, I'm definitely saving my money there. I just think I've just got to do a bit of a clean up. him now I paid a pound for this it was absolutely filthy and when I say filthy it was filthy I'm terrible and I've got to pick these things up because I know that they're just unusual now I might use this for the challenge I don't know because I know I've got to do an animal thing but um it is bizarre, to be honest with you. This here, as you can see here on the hair, if you pull it, it's a tape measure. Can you see? Little tape measure. You pull it there. And it's got something here, which I don't know what was in here. Something was obviously in here at some point. Um, something was here for its nose as well. I've got no idea what that is. I've got to check what this is. And the hat is an old pin cushion. Now I know it's pins because I pulled them out and they're really rusty. <laughs> so, so I know that, yeah, that some won't come out. But you can see some. They're rusty. You can see that. So, yeah. But I just thought it was so unusual. I've never seen anything like it in my life. Have anyone else seen anything like this in their lives? I've never seen anything like this. This is the first I've come across it. It's by KK. And also it's got this on, on it. So you can't actually get... I thought, well, you know, maybe you can get into it somehow. But it doesn't look like you can get into that. I think that's, 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 that's just on. But how bizarre, hey? But very, very interesting. I have no idea. I'd have to Google it. But as I say, I cleaned her up. She was absolutely filthy. She's a cat, isn't she? But she's just 
she's probably 60s. But do you know what? She's just lovely, isn't she? She's just quirky. I like quirky items myself. So, yeah, so I'm quite happy with that. I'll do a little bit more research on her and find out exactly what she is and how much she will be. Okay, she was a pound. And then I picked up some... Up, you know, I like my, my dominoes, so I found these ones now. They're called well, they're not called dominoes, put it that way. They're called that, and I can't even pronounce it. It just says D O U U H O, so it could be domino in a different language, maybe, but they're definitely there. All the dominoes are there, and I just thought actually, they're not bad because they look quite good ones because of the intricacy on the back and also they are in very good condition for a domino so yeah and they're all there as well clearly all there in in their original box so yeah so i don't have to do much more research on those but again Dominoes, give them a bit of a wipe, clean up. Obviously, they're a little bit grotty from the on the this bit here, so I'd have to do it with a toothbrush. But they will come up nice. And again, I spent two pounds for those as well. So that's two pounds, five pounds, five pounds. So fourteen pounds I spent. Everything else is free from now on. So. pick this up for free <laughs> it's like a shoehorn and it's got like I don't know it's got a sort of like a it looks like a terrier on it it's like really interesting I don't know why I get it from the house clearance guy he just just giving everything out for free and I just picked it up well give it a go why not never had one before it's wooden turned just don't know what this bit is but yeah obviously we'll find out i'll do a bit of research on it we'll find out but it's quite cute the dog i thought the dog head was quite cute so we've got that that was free also free was a picture of highbury arsenal james <laughs> jr recently so yeah, which of Highbury there? Thought that was quite nice. Again, free. This was free. Arsenal. So it's 2010. Looks like one of those like mugs that you've when you've got beer in. It's got, it looks like beer, doesn't it? So that's an Arsenal mug. 2010. Another Arsenal mug. I really want to send this to James. Arsenal supporter. Because he's an Arsenal supporter, isn't he? So, yeah. Shout out to James, really, shouldn't I? <laughs> and then we've got another one. Put him there for a minute. Put another one, which like got just looks like it's just got fake sort of like ice in it <laughs> and that's another Arsenal one again that's 2016 so that's 2016 and this one's 2010 yeah 2010 that was 2010 that was 2016 so yeah got the Arsenal cup they're all for free everything was for free from now on so I also picked up Eddie Stobart. Now I know you'll say, why did I pick this up? It says, made in porcelain, hand gilded in 22 karat gold. For decorative use only, not for food use. Atlas Editions. So yeah. So I thought, oh, okay. I'll have a good look at that. People like Eddie Stobart, don't they? Sort of like lorries and things. So yeah, so it might be worth it. It was free. So if it isn't, I'll just carry it for a bit. If it's for free, you just never know, do you? 
So from the same guy as I was going out who gave me the, the curtain, just going to show you, it was for free. It was a wet cardboard box. I think the guy just wanted lid. Um, he just said to me, you know, if you want it, you can have it. Have you got a bag big enough? And I was like, yeah, I actually have. I carried a big bag, which is always handy to carry big bags because you carry big bags, especially in car boots. Um, you always like usually can get some good stuff. So, so ready for this? He gave me this box of stuff. Can you see all that stuff in there? Now, I know it's craft stuff, and I think it's mainly um, I'll put it down here for now. We'll go through it. We'll go through it together. So we've got these are knitting needles, I believe, all different size ones and they're like in a it's almost like it wraps up like it wraps up and then ties a bit like a scroll in a way isn't it it's all got all the knitting needles in it see there now i think it's 70s i haven't done any research on any of this so you'll have to bear with Scandi style mitten blockers <laughs> with, attach with, with detachable thumbs, it says, daisy chain. And it's never been opened, so I don't know what it is. Uh, make the neatest mitts with your top tool, it says. No idea. No idea what this is. If anyone can help me out here, I've got no idea on some of these things. So I'm going to have to Google them because I have no idea what they are. There's some daisy chain knitting needles here. So I don't know how old these are, but they've not even been opened. Um, some other knitting needles, bamboo needles, not been opened. Just look like the 70s. Um, some 4.5 millimeter rainbow topped needles again never opened look like 70s could be children's ones um, some other daisy chain ones some five millimeter needles obviously these all mean something to somebody i just picked it all up for free so i thought why not give it a go you never know do you, you can sell this on probably on ebay these needles as well. Some other needles. Now, none of these have actually come out of the packet. They're all still sealed. They're all still sealed, all these. Some more as well. All sealed. Another one of these. I have no idea what they are. Anyone can help me on that one? There's so much stuff here. We've just got needles after needles. Knitting needles. <laughs> but it was free. That is... Oh, that was free out of Women's Weekly, actually. Now, Women's Weekly obviously doesn't exist anymore, does it? A gift for every knitter, it says. 30-inch circular knitting needle. Never been opened. <laughs> No idea what that is. Could be a maybe it could be like a, a knitting needle case. No idea. I take it these maybe for um embroidery are they? Maybe embroidery. Some more knitting needles. Gosh, we've got so many knitting needles here. Um this is a yarn cutter, daisy chain. Again, probably 70s. We've got a set of five double pointed needles from Daisy Chain again. We've got more needles, more needles. <laughs> We've 
got a circular knitting pin as well. So these are obviously all things that you need for knitting. I've never known myself. Oh, these are extra long marking pins. Hmm, never seen them before. Again, we've got another little bag here. I don't know what this is. Could be another little knitting needle one or a sewing one. Who knows? I'm just waiting for a spider to jump out of this box because, as I say, she said this was all in the attic. No idea. I think that could be a applique flower instructions. So something to do with that. I'd have to look. More knitting needles, more knitting needles, more knitting needles, more knitting needles with tops on them. These are all very fancy with these are different tops on, aren't they? Circular needles, I have no idea how you use any of these. I'm not a knitting person myself, never have been. I just want to know what these are. I want to know what these are. That's the third one I found. Bizarre. We've got pom poms and hobby crafts in there. Clearly, it is a. Oh, we've got knit today. Look how many's in there. There's loads of them in there. Different knitting needles. Look. Wow, loads of them. We have knitting needles for toys. Hmm, that's different. Oh, Belle's going to love these. Look, little bee ones. How cute are they? They are cute. <laughs> oh, add these bee top needles to your knit, 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 knit kit. Oh, they are so cute. We've got more knitting needles. <laughs> more knitting needles. That's again for, I think, for embroidery. More pom-poms. I don't know what for. We've got these, which I have no idea what they are. Circular needles, are they? They obviously do some sort of like function. I've got no idea. Oh, and we've got some more needles here, look. They're a little bit dusty. Because they've obviously been, they can be washed. Got some more needles there. We've got some more needles here. Some nice sort of pink ones, grey ones. Well, I'll tell you what, I've never found so many knitting needles in one box. It's amazing, isn't it, what people do, what they keep. Oh, look, Ideal Home. So Ideal Home, that's really old. Tape, never been out of the box. Daisy chain accessory straps, never been out of the box. These are all going to be 70s. Um, and we've got an old, sort of really old, this is. And I guess what, guess what it's going to be full of? Oh yes, it's full of knitting needles. <laughs> Again. So there's quite a few pairs of knitting needles, guys. Oh look, they're probably like 60s maybe or 70s buckles. Festive bauble, cut and sew. Never been opened. This will sell or not, but it's all 70s. This is an old, old. I'm doing it very gingerly because I don't want to see any spiders jump out at me. This is a very old, like, knitting bag. Then we have these, which I have no idea what they are. It looks like they could be. Oh, yes, they look like they're for tablecloths, and the tablecloth is in there. 
and all the different yarns in there as well. So there's that one. It looks like that. And then there's that one here as well. It's a different one with chickens on it. Well, they're a bit different, aren't they? Oh, we've got some patterns. Oh, I love patterns. Got some patterns there. Also, we've got a Vogue pattern there, actually. What we have? A Vogue for Woman pattern. Ooh, my favourite. So that's good. Yeah, it looks good. Looks like it go. There's a clutch bag clasp. We all need a clutch bag clasp, don't we? <laughs> There's some weird and wonderful things in here, isn't there? All from the 70s. Oh, look, we've got acrylic lace wool. Now, I don't know if they do that anymore. That's acrylic lace wool. I know that my nan used to knit with that. It was really fine wool, that is. I used to knit actually when we were children all my dolls clothes as well so oh look that's different i think that looks like a hanger is that a hanger yeah it is a hanger look at that <laughs> gosh i saw them before Twinko folding coat hanger. Hmm. Very interesting. Isn't it? Hmm. Tiny little scissors. Daisy chain needle gauge. So we've got lots of stuff in here, guys. More knitting needles. More knitting needles. But they're, they're, they're all sealed. They've never, they've never been used. Oh, look, there's some... Gosh, they look old. Retro, don't they? More needles. More needles. Sorry guys, I'm just going through because I've never actually seen any of this stuff before. Most of it like circular pin ones, circular needles. I've never really used needles, so I don't really know what I'm looking at now. Maybe somebody. There's another belt buckle. Wooden one. There's some more little needles here. And another thing to stretch over, I think, for embroidery. And we've got a cute pyramid, notions, clays for knitting accessories. So if you've got something for a knitting accessory there. And right down the bottom we just seem to have little tiny embroidery things. And we've got some knitting needles, believe it or not. And I don't know what that is, no idea what that is. Anyone knows what that is? And this with a hook. Weird and wonderful stuff. And embellishment gift pack. Brilliant. Yeah, wow. Guys, I can't believe that. That was all for free. That was all for free. Yep, that was all for free, believe it or not. Just because it was raining. And because everybody just wanted to go home. So I think we did pretty all right. Definitely out of this stuff. I mean, this is just all amazing. Because it's like, just, it's just not even opened. I don't know if it's been opened. It's crazy, isn't it? It's just all been put in an attic. As I say, I don't do needles or anything like that. Or sewing. Never done anything like that in my life. My mum left me my mum to all that. She's brilliant. I just can't get over all this stuff. I mean, it's just 
crazy and it's all not even been opened. Just all stuff, it's from the 70s. It's never been opened. And you do get a lot of that sometimes. You have to when people just pick stuff up. And they just put it in a box and they put it down by the side and they just say, Lots, I've often like picked up stuff and just like paid a tenner or paid 20 quid sometimes for a big box of stuff. But this is better because it's for free. <laughs> and free is always good, isn't it? I wouldn't usually pick this up. I wouldn't. I wouldn't usually pick up a load of stuff. But because it was for free, and I thought, why not? Let's give it a go. You just never know, do you? Why is it that you actually take it out of the box, and then when you start putting it back in a box, the box it never fits in? It fits it in, but it doesn't fit in now. Right. So, as I was saying before, about my curtain. So I'm going to show it to you. Oh. Right, let's get up here a minute. So, turn you around and you can see I've hung it up here. I've hung it up here. How gorgeous is that now it is missing one there and I've got it up here I've got it here it just needs a little bit of a push with a fork to put it in there which I'll do it just fell out again I have done it once but it fell out again so yeah but how lovely and stunning is that that is a 1960s door curtain and you can tell it's vintage because of this here. See, it's got the little two hooks on it. But people try to um, replicate this. I've seen it on Etsy where they say as retro or as vintage, but they try to replicate this bit. But this is actually a proper 1960s plastic one. So, yeah, I just love that curtain. Don't know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments. So, what do you think? I'm going to turn you there so you just possibly just see that curtain there. Isn't it lovely? It's lovely, I love it. I can't keep it though. I've got nowhere to put it. I'm terrible really for stuff like this, but I'd love to keep it, but I just know that I've nowhere to put it. So, we have the lovely James and Sarah on on Sunday doing another live for me bless their little hearts because at the end of the day I was um sort of like a little bit of a loose end and I thought I'd have to do a quiz and I know that Rich was doing a quiz on on Saturday and I thought oh no that's not gonna be no good so um James lovely James is uh, doing a challenge with me again which I can't wait for because it's gonna be really good um and then the week afterwards, I have married Teresa and the lovely Fane Simon. Um, and actually, I've got to do, I'll send their um, challenge things tonight, actually. Just reminded me. Um, and then the week after that, we have Jay on. Now, should everyone remember Jay? Jay was on my live last year when I first started the lives. Um, and he has got the most amazing toy collection, absolutely amazing. <laughs> and uh, I was talking to him today on the Instagram, and he was saying that he's been collecting again, and he says that it's going to get him to actually like clean out his garage a bit, <laughs> so so he can show us again. So yeah, so that will be really, really good, really, 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 really looking forward to that. So that's a little bit different, um, but yeah. And if anybody wants to come on my lives at all, very much welcome. I'm starting on Monday. For my sins, I don't know, for my sins or whatever. But I'm starting on Monday at 2 to 3. Um, just a power hour each day for five days a week. 
um, obviously because I work from home and because I just love talking to you guys. I just really do. It just really it makes my day. It makes my day. I'll tell you that. Every single day makes my day. Even if it's just for an hour or so. And I love going on George's as well um, in the, uh, obviously in the evening. And if you don't follow him, go follow him. He's brilliant. Um, but yeah, really, really enjoying it. So can't wait for the lives. Hope you enjoyed this video. It'll be two part video this because there's quite a lot. Um, so yes, yeah, so this is part two and you'll have seen part one already. So yeah. So hope you guys have a great night and let me know in the comments what you thought of my find. Remember it was for free, but I did untangle it. So it's always worth it if people say to you, you know, over a hundred pound vintage. <laughs> so yeah, um, if you like this video, sorry about me waffling on, consider subscribing or notification for when I actually upload another video or just give it a thumbs up, it'd be absolutely fantastic for my channel. Um, but yeah, I've absolutely loved it tonight, love doing these videos and uh, I'll see you next time. Take care guys, bye.